In this demo I want to show you how you can prepare your table to be used in the time series tool. You need to ensure your table has a date, time or a date time column that can be used by the time series tool. So let's uh, have a look at that. I have a table here that I can use with lightning over Denmark. So if I look at the, the the browser for this data, you can see I have at least some temporal information here, the observed date, and that's that's a string I want to use. But you can also see here that that's not that's a string, that's not a date time column. So I want to take that data and cast it into this date time column here instead. And to do so I'm going to use my my SQL window from the SQL drop down SQL. I'm going to use an update statement. So I'm going to update my lightning. I'm going to update my observed date time. I'm going to set that equal to string to date time. What this takes is the, the string I want to convert, which is the observed column. And then it takes a string that actually represents how it should convert this string into a date. So let's try to run this. It's going to update that column with the information from over here. And here you can see you've got a date time string now. So let's just save this table. And finally, I want to create an index on this table so that it's faster to query. Option here. And I'm going to index this date time column. And now you have a table that is ready to be used with the time series tool.